Salam sejahtera and uh, good day to everyone. So my name is Sifu Saha and uh, today I'm not going to do any review of any perfumes. Today I want to address something which I think is very important. Number one, um, I teach students from the age of 13 till 17, what you call as pre-teens. And I think what is lacking so far when we teach someone is we lack teaching them on human values. We are so worried about teaching them how to earn money. We are so worried about teaching them how to have living skills. It's not, it's not wrong. The human values. What makes you human? What makes you not just an animal, but a human? What makes you different from animals, right? Animals, they can't rationalize. But at the same time, there's one thing that they don't do is they don't harm people. Humans, it's a different story. Let me ask you a question. Since most of you all, um, we are human species, right? Most of us are humans. We should know this much. Let me ask you. Elephants. Elephants are another mammal species. How old do you think they are? How long do you think they have existed in this earth? Right? Do you have any clue? Yeah. Uh, you'll be shocked if I told you the answer. You can Google search it. Five million years old. That's right. If you take elephants, the, last, the first elephant that actually evolved was five million years ago. Now, let me ask you another question. How old are the human species? How old was the first human species? Not even one million, not close. Only 200,000 years ago. What is sickening for me is that an animal that existed way longer than humans, much, much longer, has lived its life minding its business, doing its thing. You will never hear a news, I swear to God, you'll never hear news of an elephant mixing poison in human rice and shoving to human to eat. Because humans can rationalize. Animals can't. What just happened in India recently, Kerala, it's so sickening. It's not the country, it's not even the state. That is, that is not the point. It is humans gone wrong. Humans not having humanity. Humans not having human values. That's what went wrong. The lack of education... Is it lack of understanding? I, I think it's just ignorance, right? The poor elephant does not know how to rationalize. He sees a pineapple, he eats pineapple because it's food. That's all. Their DNA, their genes have told them that they can sense this food is going to give me nourishment, I should eat it, right? But inside there, some humans, <laughs> sorry, you can't, you can't use that word on humans. Some inhuman people have put in poison, have put in crackers, and cause the death of that poor elephant. It's not about elephant per se. I hope you get me here. My issue is with human values. It needs to be inculcated again and again. Everyone has a role to play. There's no such thing as, oh, that fellow's fault, this fellow's fault. Pointing fingers doesn't help. Solution does. I don't know what solution, but for my part as a teacher, I know what I can do. I know how I can always use this as an example to all my students. The younger they are, the better. Because they can rationalize and they listen to you and they believe you. So take your time off. Talk to your kids, especially who are young. You know, let's build a better world. Better earth. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Nobody is. But little, little steps. I always feel one thing. This is one thing that I believe in and I will do. If you cannot do good, it's okay. Never do harm. You have no right to do harm. And so I can even relate this inhumanity to what's happening in U.S. You know, you have uh, the protest on uh, the, the racism that's going on there. Well, for me, it stems down to the same thing. Inhumanity. No human values. So think about that the next time you do anything. What makes you different or what makes you more human, you know, than everything around you? And remember, the cockroach that you see, okay, cockroach may be a radical example, but the, the birds that you see, the fish, the elephants that you see, they've existed on this earth, which belongs to them as much as it belongs to you. They've existed on this earth way longer than we have. We are one of the newer species. Let us always keep that in mind. And that's why I believe knowledge, science especially, helps to dispel some sort of ignorance. Take care.